Hello and welcome to another Too Young to Get Old podcast. Well, today we're going to do something rather different and we're going to look at something called mindfulness. Now, you may never have heard of that or you may have heard of it vaguely but not quite sure what it is or indeed you may already practice it. But whatever stage you're at, I hope that this little technique is going to help you in some way. And all you need to do is to avail yourself of a raisin. So what is mindfulness useful for? Well, it's a very ancient practice. Um, Buddhist monks have been doing it for centuries. And in the last 20 years, a lot of cognitive behavior therapists have used it as an adjunct to their particular type of therapy. And it's quite useful for a number of things. It's a very centering thing. So it's good for people with depression. It's very good for people with anxiety. Uh, it, it can be quite useful if you're dieting, actually, because it makes you sort of focus and that can help you. It's very good for people that have chronic pain and indeed it's very good for lots of us just to sort of, uh, I don't know, kind of de-stress, I think is the best way of putting it. So, what is mindfulness? Well, you'll, you'll find if you Google it, there are all sorts of convoluted explanations and definitions. But what I say is it's a practice of focusing intently on something in the present. That's really the essence of it. And um, I must tell you that when I first saw this demonstrated by a man called John Cabot Zinn, who is a very famous psychologist in America, and I credit him now with teaching me this because I watched it on a video, but when I first watched it, I thought, oh, I'll never be doing that. That's a bit flaky for me. And then one day, as chance would have had it, um, I was in my uh, consulting room and I had a patient who was very, very, very agitated. She was having a very bad time and the session was going quite badly. And as it turned out, I had got in my bag a packet of nuts and raisins. So I thought, I'll give it a go. And so I did this technique with her and at the end of 10 minutes, she was very much calmer and she came to like using this technique a lot and also the rest of the session was very much more effective. But I think the best thing we can do is get on with it and I've got with me my friend Alicia who is a yoga teacher here in Norwich. She's never done this before and so for the first time she's going to contemplate a raisin as a, a technique that is very useful in mindfulness. So would you like to pick your raisin? And I'll pick one as well. Okay. And off we go. So you select a raisin and you hold it in one hand. You focus on it very intensely visually, first of all. So what you're looking at is, oh, it's not smooth all over. It has grooves in it. It has little ridges and bobbles. So look at it as if you've never seen a raisin before. Just focus on it and take in all the many variations that you can see in terms of texture and colour. And then Put it in the palm of your hand and just stroke it and get a sense of the feel of it. Turn it over. Rub it along the palm of your hand. What are you feeling? As you touch it, Are you getting the same sensation from every part of it? Or are you noticing slightly different feelings according to which bit of the raisin you touch or stroke? Is some of it smooth? Some of it rough? How does it feel? 
gently with your thumb and forefinger, press it slightly. Does that alter the sensation? Concentrate on what you're feeling as you hold and squeeze and touch it. Now lift the raisin slowly to your nostrils and breathe in and see if you can get any sense of any fragrance from it, any fruitiness. It could be very distant and vague initially. But as you focus more and more, you may get a sense that there is something, something you can smell. Maybe you're smelling it on your fingers as well now. Just a very indistinct impression of some sort of scent. Breathe in and out. Close your eyes if you like. And just concentrate on what you can smell. Now, very gently, place your raisin in your mouth. Just let it lie on your tongue for a moment or two. Then you can use your tongue to move it around inside your mouth. Gently play with it. Notice if there's an increase of saliva in your mouth. Use your tongue to dip into the little grooves that you noticed when you viewed it or to get that sense that some of it is a, a rough feeling and some of it is a smooth feeling. And ponder as you begin to taste it, a vague taste. And what is that like? Is it sweet or is it just quite neutral at the moment? Breathe deeply and think about what you're experiencing. When you're ready, press your teeth onto it without biting through it. What do you notice now? A change of smell? a building sense of sweetness. Focus on the developing taste and the experience. And notice how the flavor may be changing. Then gently and slowly bite right through it. and become aware of how the flavour is now escaping from the raisin, how the taste increases and lingers on your tongue. Suck it gently, noticing how fruity it is. You may find yourself being amazed at how such a tiny object can deliver such a fruity, sweet and quite intense taste. And notice how your raisin is losing its shape 
and its form. When you're ready, swallow it. And just sit a while, noticing the feeling as the raisin begins its journey down to your stomach. Become aware of the taste that remains in your mouth and the smell that you can perceive and the slight stickiness on your fingers. Breathe in and out slowly and just be. So that's an example of a technique of mindfulness. It can be very soothing and it can be something that you can do for yourself whenever you're feeling stressed or anxious or at other times when you really need to stop what you're doing. I personally find it very useful. In fact, I'm practically comatose the moment I see a raisin these days. So uh, from a very tranquil Christine Weber, goodbye.